So what are those interests that the U.S. finds so important? Well, we know that the U.S. is building its forces across the African continent, swarming it from coast to coast with bases and troops under the openly imperialist U.S. Africa Command. But the U.S. can't dominate Africa alone. Just like the U.S. needs loyal clients like Israel and Saudi Arabia in the Middle East, it needs loyal clients in Africa too. Uganda has been one of those key client states that can act on behalf of U.S. imperialism instead of the U.S. having to send its own military. For example, Uganda is a key base of support for corporate control of the Congo, among the most coveted countries in Africa for its mountain of resources. Also, remember when four-star General Wesley Clark revealed this 2006 Pentagon plan? He said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense's office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. Well, two of those seven countries are Uganda's neighbors, and both saw Uganda lead the charge for U.S. intervention. First in Somalia, where Uganda invaded in 2007 under U.S. command. And second, in Sudan, where Uganda played a major role in the U.S. desired division of the nation into two separate countries. That's how South Sudan was created in 2011, home to 70% of Sudan's oil. But Uganda has also proved its loyalty to the U.S. empire outside of Africa, too. Like, you probably didn't know that Uganda sent around 10,000 soldiers to Iraq in 2006 to help the U.S. fight and occupy the country. U.S. military forces routinely operate in Uganda for training, military exercises, and joint combat operations under the U.S.-led African Rapid Response Partnership. Of course, aside from its military role, Uganda is ripe for U.S. capitalism. One of the biggest banks in Uganda is Wall Street's Citibank. In fact, the U.S. State Department issues a guide for doing business in Uganda every year. And the verdict is, it's pretty great. A recent report stated, quote, Uganda maintains a liberal trade and foreign exchange regime and largely adheres to IMF World Bank programs, a free market economy with few limits on foreign investment and abundant resources. <laughs> 